What's up guys? Today we're playing Off Peak. A short little game about finding a lost train ticket, I believe. Well, look who it is. Slow subway? I'm not surprised. This city is too much sometimes, and I know you want to get on the train to row- Ooh, I didn't read that. Well, you're in luck, my friend. I had a train ticket all ready to go. Marcus hooked it right up. I'm not going anywhere, so it's all yours. But I screwed up again. The train ticket's in tatters. The pieces fell out of my jacket scattered around the station. Believe me, I know train tickets aren't cheap these days, but if you find the pieces, I know you've got to catch the- Oh, but you'll find the pieces. I know you've got to catch that train. I believe in you, ha. Huh? And the people you meet here. They won't be able to help you directly, but they may still want to talk to you. Others, maybe not. In either case, you might find their musings insightful. Or not. <laughs> okay. The circus. The way they treat those giants. They're just happy to take that circus money. All that time and energy spent, what a waste. And people think I'm in a huff because the circus didn't ask me to perform. Ah. Really hate. Okay. You never know what else people might have to say. It's pretty. Some people talk to you, others talk amongst themselves. Get close to objects to activate, use, or take them. Okay. Honestly, it's about time we stop putting up with the status quo. Oh. We have to start taking action. Ooh. Okay. Okay, sorry, I had to mute that music. The train station. Got a piece. Okay, we're here. What is this? Food. I was first chair, first stand in my country, youth orchestra, but I had my eye on the conductor's podium. Things being how they are, sold my viola, okay, but making ramen became a way to channel this old desire. The noodles are my string section, its strand emits a textual, unified sonority. Pork or chicken, the brass section. The protein of any meat is powerful and tonally dominant substance. Woodwinds are the glue of orchestra, and so too are the shallots. Cabbage, spinach, seaweeds in my ramen. Each leaf providing a nutritious unification to the disparate elements of the bowl. My gosh. The boiled egg, a timpani of more protein. Corn kernels, the hop section. My broth is the music these instruments make together. Steep slowly over 24 hours. Miso paste, chili power, shoyu. All setting the key signature. When you eat this, you're setting the tempo with each slurp. Hot sauce controlling dynamics. Three dollops and you're dealing with fortissimo. Each bite a few more measures in an unfolding symphonic narrative. But rather than filling an auditorium, it fills your bowl. Yes. Wow. My special today is green glass noodles with ostrich egg, whites, and cocoa powder. Ew. Wow. Does not sound good. Bo Judd over there could tell you if my recipes have ever backfired, but he won't. He never told you about my birthday cake ramen. Marcus wasn't into it, but it was my best selling ramen ever. Ha. Wow. Thank you. Oh dear. My dedication to ramen will one day cause me great injury. Ramen is a 16 hour a day job. 
Usually I stay here all night and sleep in the mushroom garden over there. What I need is a kitchen assistant, someone who work, someone to work for me who enjoys having their schedule imposed upon. Someone who understands who it is I'm dealing with every day. I know you're trying to catch a train, but maybe you'd like to stick around and chop some mushrooms. I know, I know. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't. Whoa. That's cool. Okay. Snake place. Like a sculpture or something. Oh, this is a big train station. I mean, makes sense. Oh, lots of music stuff. Just take everything. Why not? Add another piece. Hello. Same old story, I'm afraid. Musicians selling their prize music, cheap music, on consignment. Easy money for them, the way the market's going. Most of the players have had to memorialize all this by now anyway. The saxophone pieces are from the same guy whose vinyl collection found its way to Shawnee over there. And the cello player, not really sure about her. Honestly, I can't complain about my work here. Seriously, sheet music practically sells itself. The business just keeps getting bigger as enthusiasts keep digging deeper into musical history. I've had several high school choral conductors request, request spam and al alium. Here, what? Okay. What treasures these musicians have left for us? That's nice. <laughs> it's lovely. Good to hear. Oh. Okay. Why do you have glasses on? What is happening? I built this oven in my backyard. I could roll it anywhere that needs a party. The price has got to be right always. Sure it does. Oh, yes. Eat it all. <laughs> I really like pizza. I guess most people do. Eat their pizza. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, is there something back here? What? What is that? Whoa. Okay, lots and lots of art. This is one heck of a train station. Yikes. Oh. Ooh, what's this? Is this a person? She doesn't know I'm waiting for her. She could enter from anywhere. So this is the, bless the best place to keep a lookout. I've been waiting for a long time. I'm told she passes through the station around this time every day, but I can never seem to find her. Red hair in an orange dress. Okay. Could spot her from anywhere, and yet, if by some likely, unlikely chance you meet her, please don't tell her I'm looking for her. In fact, you never saw me. Okay. Sure. 
uh red hair is it red haired orange dress okay nothing that way okay let's head back down oh oh what what are y'all doing what are you doing this isn't a horror game they just teleported me. Okay, okay, thank you for that. <laughs> it was still creepy. I think we only need one more. Someone dropped these records off a few days ago. They said they belong to a DJ or a saxophone player or something. He had to downsize. Shame for him, but I'm not too surprised. Marcus screens all my records, but he finds he found no fault within his batch. A hundred percent quality. I don't know why Luke helps people like you out. Every morning I hear him playing out on the waterfront. Honestly, I wish I could throw his lap steel into the lake. It's a lap steel. I don't know what that is. I mean, I think he's a good player. I just like oboes better. Marcus tells me, oh, the computers always want something new to put on dinner time. That's why he set me up right here to get in their way so they could buy all these records. One sale and I'm set for at least two months. Wow. Just one sale. Right now, I'm just trying to sell records to the lucky few who can afford them. Half of these people don't even have a record player and they're my best customers. They simply enjoy the thrill of acquiring a new thing. whole like music train station it's really nice okay this is where the trains are i still need to go and find one more piece oh okay Oh, <laughs> what is happening here? This place used to be a pit of sadness before I showed up. But through my tireless work, we just ranked number two most enjoyable transit hub in the region, according to Travelers Quarterly. Yeah, it would be pretty fun to come to this train station. And number one, unimportant to me. I get solicitations from businesses all over the city begging to have a piece of real estate here. These businesses try to dazzle me with sales. Charts, cl press clippings, and bribes, but I just laugh in their face. They don't get that I'm a curator. I deem each business worthy of the needs and tastes of my customers. Not all of these businesses will do equally well, but I do not care. Tastes and whims of my customers are what's important to me. My ticket lady Beatrice, she's a good friend of mine. She's probably the best at what she does in this whole city, actually. Selling tickets? In every customer satisfaction survey I've ever given, she gets top marks. Considering the needs of my customers are very specific and demanding. Keep all this in mind when dealing with my dear friend Beatrice, okay? Luke has you running around as usual. Whatever ticket he's making you piece together, I gave that to him for a reason. But he's such a good lap steel player, I'm actually glad he's not leaving after all. But you? Why do you always go to Rowayway? Rowayton, anyways. Is it to visit relatives, see old friends? Do they appreciate the sacrifice you make to get there? Okay. It's probably not my business to ask this stuff, but you travel through my station, you interact with my people, my business, which in turn becomes your business. Luke won't be around forever, you know. You'll have to pay your own way then, or get a one way ticket. This place used to be a pit of sadness before I showed up, but through- oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And his pet cow. Hmm. That's funny. I think Beatrice is probably right here. I don't- I- okay, last time I clicked that, they, uh, transported me. Let me talk to her first. 
Last train boarding on track five. Oh, great, it's you. I know all about you. I know you definitely don't have the money for a ticket. You're not the first person Lucas helped out, you know. Okay. You're lucky I don't call that guard standing over there. Look, I'm not being rude. Just get on my face. She's, she's the worst. She has top arcs. Okay, sure. So Luke has you looking for his ticket pieces, huh? No matter how many tickets Marcus gifts him, Lucas can't bring himself to leave here. Well, considering your situation, I may be able to steer you in the right direction if you're so inclined. I overheard that Luke snuck out of a rather long and drawn-out board game at Serb's Bar. I hear Luke spends a lot of time down there in the subway, but I'm not entirely sure why. No one sees him down there, but the maintenance people can hear those lap steel wails. Okay. I think it might be down here. The last ticket piece. Hello. Shh, if you can listen closely, you can hear the size of old trains long abandoned. They make these low, long, slow, deep tones all day. What? And what is this? No. Oh, it's cookies. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm so glad someone is enjoying my cookies. Take any cookie you want. They're all pretty stale. And don't ask me what's in them. You get what you pay for. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. I do miss the sun. How would you like it if you never got to see the sun? I know people think I'm a crone. But try spending your whole day underground. That's lovely. Every morning I arrive here on my little rowboat. The sun is just coming up, hitting the buildings a certain way. That's the only time I get to see it. I want to take that moment and bake it into a cookie. Nothing brings me more joy than reminding these hardworking fools on these times. In these times, they more than anyone deserve the simple pleasures. I don't understand any of that music that giant plays on his big piano. I don't care about fancy beer or personality pizza or tricky card games. Cookies and trains for me. I'm happy for you. <laughs> huh. Citywide subway service suspended. Okay. Don't like that. Don't like that. Oh, look. There's the last piece. Oh, wait. Is that the last piece? Ooh. Oh. Did I? Okay. Can I get on the train now? This is not a whole ticket. Bring me a whole ticket. You could okay. Okay, so we're close. We have like two more tiny pieces. Okay, I missed. I missed this spot. Phantasmagoria. Oh, the bar or something. Yeah, I think that's he was saying. Luke plays games in here or something. Uh, yes. Okay. What is that on the table, skulls? Okay, that's their little game. Oh. The games look pretty arcane at first. People decide for them and play through them, and then they're done with them. They can't settle on what they like. It's always about what's new. Me, I like playing a few games and really exploring them. I ran some of my games, but maybe these aren't all brand new experiences, just old ideas repurposed. People always ask me if I, I'll keep the bar up for later, but I don't mind laying them down easy. I've got a delicate balance to maintain at this place. You'd think adding more hours would simply offer more income, but it's never that simple. I also need to supply more drinks and deal with a shift in the clientele. People like yourself. Not that that's a bad thing, but I like routine. And I have my customers right where I want them. Hmm. The giants drink for free, but only because the circus bankrolls their leisure activities. 
Those two back there have been at it all afternoon. I don't know why. I don't care. Just give me that circus money. <laughs> Wait. Oh, they're giants. Okay. <laughs> they're having a good time. Someone once told me learning is like a spiral staircase. The higher you go, the more you come around with the same challenges. But you're at a higher level with them. Okay. Sure. Ooh, button? Yes, let's push it. Ooh. Secrets. This will probably take me back to the, the trains. Yes. That could have been the last one. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Do I have a whole ticket? Why does he have a skull hiding behind him? Okay. Very good. Now if you just board the train on my right here. Hi. Stop. That ticket was meant for Luke, not you. At first I was okay with this little arrangement, but now I'm having a change of thought. Especially considering your sticky fingers with my merchants over there. Oh crap. I did steal all their stuff. Just taking things with wanton abandon like you own the place. You're a bold one indeed. But now it's time for you to settle up, my friend. And considering your financial situation, we may have to get a little creative. <clears throat> Yvonne's always saying that he needs another hand behind that ramen counter of his, considering what you owe me for that ticket, along with everything else you've acquired. I actually see this as a golden opportunity for you. <laughs> Guards kindly remove this vagrant from the train platform. What is happening? Who are you? Wait, that's the, oh. Wait, the, the lady upstairs was looking for someone with red hair and an orange dress. Or a yellow dress or something like that. Okay, what the hell are you doing here, Muriel? <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, we're taking a vote then. The circus welcomes you. <laughs> okay, thanks. I guess. <laughs> what an ending. It was a twist. <laughs> cool. That was fun. All right, guys, that was it for Off Peak, and I will see you guys in the next one.